Hello. Happy uh, Firstly Thursday. F it Friday. Uh, Sub it Saturday. Good old Geordie Ward. Sub it Saturday. So here we go. Um, I've got the McEwen's Champion Award winning premium beer, evidently, it tells me. Do you know? I've never had one of these. Seven point three percent evidently. Show your magnificent and help save men's lives. Oh, okay. Prostate cancer. Oh well at least I'm doing some good anyway. Champion has a rich strong flavour and unique sweet fruity character brewed specifically as a competition entry then going on to take first place. Champion was the obvious name for this outstanding premium beer, etc, etc, etc. Now, I've drunk the McEwen's Export, Indian Pale Ale and all the rest of it over the years, but I've never ever had one of these. Now all my pals who drink John Smith's and things like that will say to me, hang on bunny lad, you drink all that puffy stuff and all that weird crap beer, uh, craft beer stuff and all the rest of it with mangoes and shit like that in and you have never bloody drunk this. What's the matter with you, you big pansy? Because that's the way we talk up here in uh, George Land, you know. Anyway, I'm going to give it a go. It's in the co-op the other night. And prior to that, I'd seen somebody in Lidl during the day buying a whole case of it. Not a clue. This might be the worst thing I'm ever going to do. But hey. 2019 is for uh, chicken chances like. Well, as you would expect, it's not bottle conditioned. Clear, bright. Put me nose so far in to get a smell. I've got beer on the end of it. Nice tight little head. Do you know Christian Brubler should be uh, reviewing these for his Thirsty Thursdays? Um, Talking of Christian, we haven't seen him around on, for a while on YouTube. Come on, Christian. I have caught up with you on Twitter, but we'd like to see your, uh, your stuff. Good help. For a mass produced beer. That's not bad. It's certainly better than uh, John Smith's 3% or whatever. Absolute piss. That's all right. I drink that. So in future when I go out for uh, a beer on the few occasions, rarely I go out. Last time I was in a bar I was in uh, yeah, in the brew shed in Wexford. Um, I tend not to visit bars very often. But I would drink that. Of course, I would 7.3% be a very short night, but I would drink it. Yes, I enjoy that. See what you guys think. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. You might see you're talking through your backside in. Just check the missus isn't coming in through the door. 
where it's having a cheeky bank. And uh, you might say you're talking about the pants, you don't know what you're on about, which is fine. But uh, that's all right. That's a Saturday night, which is lovely, because it is Saturday night. Sit in the chair, watch the TV, sit there. Definitely enjoyable. Um, yeah. It's not like your uh, beer 52s with you have your, uh, you know, your vegan stuff and your gluten free snacks and things like that. It's just a sit back, drink, enjoy, watch it. What's not like? See you next week. So uh, here I am editing up um, the videos and uh, here's the McEwen 7.3, the champion. It's certainly doing the business, I've got to say. Um, I'm enjoying that, sipping it away as I'm doing this editing to put the videos up onto YouTube. Very nice, very nice indeed. Bear belly blues, what color are my new shoes? <laughs> Cause my feet and belt buckle are things I rarely see. <laughs> my problem is not my glands. It comes poured from aluminum cans <laughs> And Pap's Blue Ribbon's been awfully good to me 